Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about releasing your stuff, allowing things to leave your life that you don't need anymore. We hold on to so many things that we don't need, lots and lots of junky things. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of what I'm doing so you can just know what's going on with my life. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you a tip for if you have stuff that's, you, that's very important to you, things that are very memorable and you feel like you just can't get rid of it. I'm gonna give you a tip on how you can get rid of it. If you're following me on Facebook, on my Facebook page, you're gonna notice that I'm selling everything. I'm selling my couch, I'm selling my table, I'm selling my desk, I'm keeping my dresser or bedroom furniture for some reason but I'm selling almost everything I own. I'm putting everything in boxes that I don't, well, I'm, I'm putting things in boxes that I don't need for a yard sale that I haven't been using, and I'm keeping stuff that I have been using, and I'm finding that more stuff is going into the boxes for the yard sale. Over the past two years, I've actually gotten rid of tons and tons and tons of stuff, and I feel like this is the last step. I think we own so many things as Americans, way too many things, and I've noticed that when we own just a very small amount of stuff, our house the, our house stays cleaner. Um, I know where things are. I get so frustrated when I can't find things. That's one of the things that absolutely bothers me. But to have very small amount of things, the things that only you are using feel so good. And I want to recommend that everybody looks in their house and probably gets rid of two-thirds of their stuff. We have so many things. So we want to hold on to everything. We want to hold on to it. What if we need it? What if we need this? What if we need that? Well, I'm finding that a lot of the things that we think we might need, um, I had the thought like two years ago when I started cleaning, oh, I might use this, I might use that. And then of course a year or two later, here it is and I still haven't touched it. So I'm making it a point to go ahead and put it in the yard sale. There's also tons of stuff in my closet that I've noticed that are brand new. We go out shopping. We think it's fun to go out shopping and buy all this stuff, and then we never even use it. There's post-it notes, there's clothes, there's headphones that I bought to do some project that I've never used. All this stuff is going into my yard sale that's brand new because we go shopping and we're like, oh, this is a great deal, and then we take it home and put it in our closet and never use it. So why am I selling everything? Because I don't want all this stuff in my life anymore. Two years ago, I was a totally different person. Um, I went and bought brand new furniture that I'm actually selling right now. I spent five, $6,000 on furniture that I'd always wanted. I always wanted to buy brand new furniture. So I bought all new furniture for my house. <clears throat> because I was worth it. My dad told me that he remembers me saying, but you said you're worth it. And yes, I am worth it. But I just decided that it, it takes too much space. So I am selling all my stuff, totally different place than I was two years ago. Two years ago, I wanted all this stuff. Today, I don't. So I wanna sell all my stuff and I'm gonna spend, start spending more money on memories, going on adventures. So as of right now, if you watched my last video, I was telling you that I want to go to Florida. Well, yay, I have found a place that is in my budget that I can go and stay at Florida. My goal is to go and stay for two months. Um, we're going to be staying in a one bedroom little room and they have a pool there and a community center, the place that I'm staying. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. And I think that I'll actually go and meet a lot of people make lots of new friends, you know? That's pretty cool. I like to be around people and be, and have friends. So the only thing that is stopping me from going right now is I have to find a place for my kitty cats. And I don't want to put them in a no-kill shelter because, I mean, like, they're my kids. I feel like they're my kids. They've been with me for a very long time. One's been with me for eight years and one for 10. And I feel like I just need to find them a good home. So once I find them a good home or find a place for them to um, stay until I can get back to them, I will be booking my trip to Florida and taking a two-month vacation, which we so need. 
because it has been two to three years. We've been waiting for a kidney and the doctors say, um, don't go on vacation. It's you're at the top of the list. Like they said this last year and then the government came in and changed everything. So we're like, we're going on vacation. We're going to start living the life that we want. We're not going to wait anymore. And a lot of people is going to be watching me and think, man, she's, she's risky. How can she do this? She's selling everything she owns. And what if she's homeless? Like, I don't, I'm not really afraid of that. I try to stay one moment in the time, one moment. I try to live my life one moment at a time to just try to focus on today. And I'm not going to lie. I do have a lot of worry go through my head at times. But I always have to bring myself back to a meditation and knowing that I know the way. I'm a powerful creator. I can do anything that I want. And totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> but we're here to have fun. We're here to have fun with this world. And I'm going to have fun. I'm not going to live it the way that everybody else wants me to live it. So um, I do have um, a program I'm still working on. I've been a little bit lazy on that, but I'm hoping to get that out to um, my followers. If you are not um, signed up for my newsletter, make sure you sign up because that's where I give away the cool stuff. Um, I send videos to you and tips to you, and that's where you're gonna know some information that you wouldn't know if you're just following me on YouTube. All right, guys, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna show you something that means something very important to me. It's a painting that I did when I was in high school and I've been hold on, holding on to it for all this time and I've decided to let it go and I'm going to tell you how I'm allowing it to go out of my life. Hey Madison, are you excited that we're selling everything? Yeah. Where are we going to go? To Georgia. To Georgia? No, no, Florida. To Florida? Well, we might go to Georgia too. <laughs> are you going to get to go see the beach? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to see the beach with us. Yeah. You know, we haven't gone through your toys to get rid of your toys. Are you going to be okay with letting go of some of your toys and putting them in the yard sale? Mm. No. No. It's hard to let go of things, isn't it? It's hard to sell everything that we have, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But we can't take it all to the beach with us, can we? Nope. Yes, we can bring toy sand. We can bring toy sand? Yeah. We could bring some toys for the sand. That would be a great idea. But we're going to have to get rid of some stuff. Because we have too many toys and we can't take them all with us. We're taking to movie to the beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. What? Look at mommy and talk. Hey. Um. Look at mommy and talk. No. I was thinking about us dreaming last night. You were dreaming last night? Yeah. Oh. What'd you dream? About the story of Daddy. About the story of Daddy. He built some words. Blue car. <laughs> I guess you're done. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is the picture that I was talking about um, that I did in high school. And it's been really hard to get rid of it because, well, it means a lot to me. This was one of my favorite pictures. But I'm going to be putting it in the yard sale because I feel like I don't need it anymore. So what I did to remember this item is I simply took my camera and took a picture of it. If you have things that you can't get rid of, just take your camera, take a picture of it. Then you will always have that memory of that item. So if you can't release things, if you feel like you can't release things, that's a great tip to try and get more stuff out of your house. Well, that's my tips. That's what's going on in my life. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and sign up for my newsletter to figure out what I'm going to be doing next. 
Um, I will be giving you tours of places that I'm going and of course I'm always going to be teaching health along the way and I'll be showing you what I'm doing. Um, I guess that's it guys. I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go and subscribe right now at the subscribe button. Also, look in the description below because I put a free gift for you guys. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.